to think about it. So in chapter 6.1.4, we're talking about magnetization. There's no actual math in this, no actual big concept to understand. But uh, it starts reintroducing the two uh, uh, concepts we already talked about. First of all, this paramagnetism. Uh, so paramagnetism is a effect where the uh, dipole moments are parallel to the magnetic field. So for example, we will have the magnetic moment pointing up and the magnetic field pointing up. And then we have instead diamagnetism, or I guess that's how you pronounce it. And instead, it is the opposite of paramagnetism. So, for example, you have the magnetic moment pointing one way, and you have the magnetic field pointing the other way. And these are the two concepts. Now, what, uh, we'll talk about what happens when we actually magnetize an object. Now, we don't actually care how we magnetize an object. It can be through paramagnetism, diamagnetism, or uh, through a whole different thing. But we talk about uh, magnetization, and actually there is a quantity called M that, that is the uh, magnetization, magnetization, no, sorry, actually magnetic, my bad, magnetic dipole moment, Per unit volume. So it means how much magnetic moment, like double moment, we have per a certain unit volume. And this becomes actually very helpful in finding some field uh, in the future. Um, as I said it's, it's not very difficult to understand. You can think about this as uh, the polarization B that we found in previous chapters. Um, <clears throat> And uh, one interesting thing to see, actually, is that, and that the, the, the talk book talks about too, is that these effects do not only happen in the normal uh, metal that we can think of. For example, we know very well that um, we can pick up, for example, shards of metal on the floor with a magnet, but um, paramagnetism and diamagnetism actually happen also with a piece of wood, for example. So. Uh, as I said, a piece of wood can be uh, paramagnetized or demagnetized very uh, easily. However, the force that is uh, uh, that this piece of wood or the magnetic dipole moment per unit volume of the wood will be very, very small. It will be the force will be very, very weak. While instead, when we use another element, like for example iron, we know that it's, it's very easy to. Uh, Magnetize, and this is going to be very oops, strong. And this is pretty much uh, this is a very interesting thing actually to see because you never think that a piece of wood can be magnetized, but it actually can. You just need a very powerful instrument to measure or even to detect uh, magnetization in your case. Uh, but that's it. And then yeah, this is just to deduce the next section.